Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Digital Black Magic channel. Today I want to have a look at my new PC which is an HP Z2 Generation 4 Workstation Class PC. It comes equipped with 512 GB of MVME storage, a Core i9-9900 and 16 GB of DDR4 RAM. I'm going to upgrade the PC with three additional SATA SSDs, two of which will be added via the normal bus and the third will be slotted in a PCI Express slot. Additionally, I will add an Intel 10 gigabit card. The model is a X540T2. Now let's have a look on the other side of the computer. This is the flip side of the computer. Below the power supply you can see two audio jacks and two display ports. Near the bottom of the computer you see regular USB and an Ethernet jack. Let's have a look inside. This is a very clean design from the inside. You can hardly see unfortunately the uh, PCI Express sockets below the CPU and on the right hand side next to the CPU you can see four RAM sockets. One is used which is kind of unfortunate but that's okay for now and on the right hand side in the middle towards the front you see two bays which I will put the SSDs in to extend the storage of the system. The two drive bays I'm using are specially crafted, not for me, but special in this case. It fits into the bracket which is standard for the three and a half inch hard disk. So the goal is to put them into the brackets you can see just in the right upper corner of the picture. The Samsung SSD is a used one and the SanDisk is factory new. Both are 500 gigabytes. This is the Intel Servernic dual port 10 gigabit. I'm kind of curious how easy it will be to integrate it into Windows 10. This is the SanDisk SSD mounted on the PCI Express card. I will leave links to the items at Amazon for you. I will now complete the computer and will come back to you once everything is mounted. As you can see the setup is done but unfortunately the data cables which point out red in the picture stick out from the side of the chassis so that I can't close the lid. Therefore I will need to get new angled cables which then allow to use the chassis as designed. I also added the Intel network card in the X16 slot and the PCI Express riser for the SSD in a little slot below that. I've not tested the machine yet. I will do so and come back to you. 